It's the weekly reset, so I'm going to let you guys know what is going on this week. And there's a lot, including Festival of Lost, Iron Banner, The Dungeon, and The Queen. And we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is the weekly reset and there is tons and tons of stuff going on this week. But before we get into the video, if you guys haven't already entered in the Destiny 2 Forsaken Annual Pass giveaway for the month of November, then click on the link in the description below uh, for your chance to win. So, like I said, it is the weekly reset, so we're going to go over the challenges first. This week, going from the left hand side, we have the Flashpoint is going to be on Mars. And if you do the um, Heroic Public Events, you can get it done a lot faster, as well as Lost Sectors and Heroic Adventures. But then we also have this wonderful Heroic Adventure here, uh, Hephaestus. And obviously, given this, we'll give uh, completing this will give you powerful gear. Next, coming down to the Vanguard, we have your uh, your daily missions. You need to complete three of them, as well as your uh, weekly strikes. You need to complete three of them. And then for the Nightfall, you need to complete a Nightfall as well as get 100,000 uh, points for the Nightfall uh, Strike Score. Moving on to the other side in the middle, we have Gambit. You need to complete three matches as well as for the Crucible. You need to complete one match as well as five matches altogether. Coming to the Dreaming City. Petra has actually moved her location again. She is in Ray Sylvia. And you need to complete two of her weekly uh, bounties. And then moving up to the Traveler, last but not least. We have Ikora, which you need to complete 20 bounties, as well as uh, Hawthorne, which you need to earn 5,000 XP in your clan. However, we also do have this new mission, or for Milestones at least, which is called Festival of Lost, and we need to go ahead and speak to Amanda Holiday. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Not going to lie, the music to the Festival of Lost sounds pretty cool. Uh, here we are at Amanda Holiday. And the first thing we get is a Master Raul mask. So, new quest, we got to go ahead and talk to Tess Everest at the Eververse. So, here we are at Tess Everest at the Eververse, and Jesus, there's tons of people here. Wow, she must have something good. Go ahead and accept that. New milestone added. And we're going to go ahead and turn this in. And this is my first eph ephemeral engram, so let's go ahead and find out what I get out of this. A glitter ball mask. Ooh. Let's go ahead and uh, check out what we got here in the prismatic matrix since we're here. We have red card, and I like to call it the man card. And that, yeah, that's me taking away D Spikes' man card. Yep, he doesn't get it. My man card. Nope. Then we have the Electric Violet, which is the ornament for the Risk Runner. Looks pretty cool. Then we have the Blue Sky Shell. Comes with two random uh, perks. Then we have the, uh, I can't even say, Beguiling Dance? I guess that's how you say it. I have no idea. And then we have your Manta Esperanta um, Sparrow. That looks kind of weird. On the left, we have the Quantum uh, Cartographer ship. Oh. Then we have the Next of Kin, which is the ornament for the Distant Relation. That actually makes it look pretty badass, not going to lie. Then we have the Plunderer, which is the ornament for the Pillager. I like the other one a lot better. And we have the In Medias Res. It's another ship. And last but not least, we have your Hake Projection. And obviously can't look at that. 
So coming down here, let's go ahead and look what is in the ephemeral engrams. We have all this wonderful hunter gear, and you obviously can see my hunter uh, wearing it all. The bow does not come with it. And then, unfortunately, can't show the Titan gear because Bungie still won't allow us to preview other people's gear. But, yeah. So this is all the armor. Titan, Warlock, Hunter. Then we have your uh, Ghost Shells and Emotes. Heroic Guitarist is one of the exotic emotes. Then we have Summoning Dance. Oh yeah, I could definitely see this dance pissing people off in PvP. Oh my god. <laughs> this thing looks hilarious. Then we have uh, Magnificent Dance. Oh, this one too. <laughs> definitely you can see people getting mad. Oh god. And last but not least, we have the Spell of Abolition. I'm not gonna lie, the uh, emote that we had in Destiny 1 where your head just turned like the Exorcist was so much better than this. As for the Ghost Shells, we have three exotic ones and a lot of legendary ones. The first one being Oc uh, Ocular Fortitude Shell. That actually looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Whoever makes these ghost shells is definitely doing a good job. This comes with uh, Guiding Light as well as Omni Telemetry and one random mod. Then we have Nine Live Shell, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people want this one. It's a ghost shell that pretty much looks like, makes uh, your ghost look like a cat. This comes with Omni. Uh, I'm sorry, Banshee's favorite, which is uh, generate. Gunsmith telemetry data on any elemental weapon kills at an increased rate. It also comes with Vanguard Scanner, Crucible Scanner, and one random mod. And last but not least, we have Stonecraft's uh, Amalgam Shell. I guess that's how you say that? I don't know. And this is what that looks like. It pretty much looks like it would be a um, machinist shell. And this comes with Speed Demon. Omni Telemetry and then one random mod. Actually looks pretty cool. Uh, I'm not even going to pronounce these, but this actually looks pretty cool as well. Two random perks. So that is all of the legendary ghost shells. Some of them look pretty cool. Next we have your jump ships and sparrows. We have two exotic ships and one exotic sparrow. First being the infected seeker. Looks pretty cool I guess. Then we have the aerial shroud. That looks pretty badass, I'm not gonna lie. Even though it's just a reskin with like, a cloth over it. Then we got your legendary ships. I'm not gonna lie, the, these ships look a lot better than the ships that actually came with this game. And that's kinda sad to say. This is just a reskin of the first one. And this is just a reskin of the first two. There's a lot of reskin stuff too. It's not a lot of people like that. As for the uh, exotic sh uh, sparrow, it's called Winchester's Ruin. 
It comes with custom drive, uh, destabilizers, and one random mod. And this looks like a freaking like um, a Hive Knight uh, speeder. Looks pretty badass. And then we have your two uh, legendary speeders. And last but not least, the new shaders and mods. So we get a, uh, a bat projection, a ghost projection, a web projection, a jack-o'-lantern projection, spider projection. Uh, I, I guess that's like an Eye of Osiris projection. I don't know. It's a triangle. We'll just say that. Then we get Unlucky Projection, which is a cat, and then another one that is a uh, hat. We get two new Transmat effects, this being uh, Soul's Knot. That looks pretty cool. As well as uh, Arachnophile. That one looks badass. I definitely want Arachnophile. Let's see it again. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Looks like you're coming out of a spider sack. And then the rest is all the same. The two newest shaders are the Dark Fluorescence. It has orange in the picture, but there's no orange on this thing. It's kind of weird. And then we also have the Shadow Strike. Maybe it's just the armor I'm wearing. It makes it look weird. Possibly. And that is all of the wonderful stuff that you can get out of the Ephemeral Engrams. But it's kind of weird because uh, it doesn't show you masks. Let me double check. I was missing a page. No, nah, it doesn't show you masks. For the featured uh, content, we already seen the uh, guitars, uh, her heroic guitars, sorry. Uh, but then we had the pride glass ornament for the fighting lion. That actually looks pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Sucks that I don't know how to use a fighting lion though. We already seen the ships, the speeders, those three ghosts. Uh, Glitter ball mask is one of the masks I actually just got. Can actually put armor mods on it. Ooh, we have winged, uh, winged terror, as well as vampiric torch. Oh, touch. Sorry, touch, touch, not torch. <laughs> then we have uh, energetic assassin. Hmm. This increases damage to all enemies. This increases damage to challenging enemies, and then this increases damage to nightmares. Interesting. And then we also have the Colonel Mask. Colonel Mask is pretty cool, not gonna lie. And that's pretty much everything uh, for the Ephemeral Engrams. And apparently that's all gonna be sold. <gasps> I can buy a Colonel Mask. I'm sorry. I apologize, I know. <laughs> that totally threw me off track. Uh, well, that's the uh, engrams. We also have the Enfermoral Bundle. The bundle gives you three engrams, 150 Bright Dust, and five Dark Fluorescent Shaders. And then this Pride Glass Bundle gives you the Enfermoral, uh, three Enfermoral engrams, Pride Glass, as well as five Eververse Bounty Notes. And then we got your regular Steadfast Engrams and the Road to uh, Redemption Bundle. God, I can't talk. Gives you Steadfast Engram, 500 Bright Dust, and 1044 Steel Shaders, as well as the Cerebral Bundle. This gives you Cerebral Explosion, as well as Fire Team Medallion, and 10 of this wonderful shader that I can't pronounce. Cerebral Explosion. so amazing
And then for Bright Dust Purchases, we have the Denial Dance. As well as the Huddle Up. The uh, wonderful speeder right here. Can't say it. Another wonderful speeder right here. Shit. Another shit. The Tyrant Shell. This uh, wonderful projection that looks like a diamond. The Trickster uh, ornament for the Gemini Jesters. Then we have the uh, Iridescent Death for the Crimson. It's a cool little ornament. Then we have the Cleans Up Good. And that is for the Darcy. Vex Invasion Effects. Uh, Crucible Blue. Then we have these two wonderful shaders. And then we have the Gleaming Boon of the Vanguard of the Crucible. And last but not least, Fire Team Medallion. Here we are at Lord Saladin for the Iron Banner. And it has returned this week. We got these wonderful uh, Iron Banner bounties Light Bearer, In the Zone, Iron in the Blood, Shine On, Iron Victory. To be precise, as well as all in a week's work. Then we have all of your armor and the weapons that you can buy are the Claws of the Wolf. And oh my god, it has Outlaw and Kill Clip. This thing is amazing with high caliber rounds. Oh my god. So this has Corkscrew Rifle and Small Bore, which is it's amazing. High caliber rounds, Flared Magwell, Outlaw, and Kill Clip. Now, if you guys do not know, the Closet Wolf was the weapon to use the last time Iron Banner came around. More so this time, especially now that it has high caliber rounds, Outlaw, and Kill Clip. Wow. And shit, if you want, you can put Flared Magwell on to give it more stability. And Small Bore. Oh, and it comes with a masterwork of uh, Reload. And then we have the Bite of the Fox, which is a sniper rifle. This comes with corkscrew rifling, polygon rifling, accurized rounds, drop mag, snapshot sights, and moving target. Both of these weapons are definitely good to go ahead and grab. And uh, it also comes with a uh, masterwork of reload as well. Yeah, if you guys don't have either of these or these specific rolls, go ahead and grab them because that's like perfect rolls for both of them. So if you guys don't know, there was an update patch earlier today, and I will put that update in a link in the description box below. That way you guys can go ahead and check that out. And don't forget that the dungeon, which is the dungeon to get the wish ender, is available for this week, for the entire week. So definitely, definitely, definitely go ahead and uh, patch that out to get your wish ender bow. I have mine, and she is beautiful at 600 uh, power. And oh my god. Granted, yes, there's been talk, much talk of saying that it's not working the way it should, the draw time, impact, etc. But hey, it's still a great weapon to get. As well as, if you do complete a Oracle of the Offering and give it to the little Offering Center thingy, then you will be able to see the Queen and you will be given a Seat of Light if you do not already have one. And that, my friend, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know. You just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more. Because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.